support family members and caregivers of young English learners like this grandfather, the Regional Educational Laboratories, or RELs, West, Northeast and Islands, and Northwest developed nine simple and fun family and caregiver activity sheets, or FCAs, to leverage cultural and linguistic assets and knowledge to strengthen language development at home. The FCAs are available in multiple languages, including Somali, Simplified Chinese, Spanish, English, Tagalog, Traditional Chinese, Vietnamese, Haitian Creole, and Arabic, and can be used in English or the home language, whichever the family member or caregiver prefers. The purpose of this video series is to demonstrate how to connect classroom learning with activities in the home. Educators can send the FCAs home so students can use complex language and connect to concepts in their home language prior to, as well as after, classroom instruction. The FCAs are grounded in the research-based recommendations in the What Works Clearinghouse Practice Guide called Teaching Academic Content and Literacy to English Learners in Elementary and Middle School. In this video, we'll see portions of classroom lessons on the concept of sequencing and using sequential vocabulary and how two families use different FCAs to prepare for, then extend and reinforce this classroom learning by creating opportunities for dialogue that build their child's oral and written language skills in their home language. First, we'll see how a family used the asking and answering questions about a story FCA that the teacher shared recently at Back to School Night, along with ideas about how to prepare the child for classroom content. Next, we'll see how the teacher introduces sequential vocabulary in two content areas, language arts and fine arts. Then, following the classroom video, we'll see how a family extends and reinforces the classroom learning by using the Making a Meal Together FCA. In this first clip, the mother uses the FCA asking and answering questions about a story, which is based on recommendations one and two in the practice guide. She has her daughter practice a set of vocabulary words and integrates oral and written language instruction by engaging with a story through structured dialogue while focusing on the academic vocabulary of sequence. First, the mother reads aloud a story about the first day of school to her daughter, asking questions using the language supports from the FCA. Then, the child retells the story using the academic vocabulary of sequence. The interaction ends with the child drawing a prediction of what she thinks will happen to Eduardo, the main character. El día de hoy vamos a leer un cuento sobre un personaje que va a ir por primera vez al colegio. ¿Tú estás lista ya para entrar al kinder este año próximo? ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Estás emocionada? Entonces vamos a mirar de qué se trata más el cuento, qué detalles hay... Vamos a hacer preguntas como, ¿qué está pasando? ¿Quiénes son los personajes? Entonces, mientras leemos, yo te voy a hacer preguntas. Y tú vas a responder a lo mejor que puedas. El lunes, Eduardo iba al colegio por primera vez. ¿Estás listo, Eduardo? Preguntó su papá. ¿Qué piensas que va a ser su respuesta? ¿No, ¿Crees que no está listo? No. ¿Qué te hace pensar que no está listo? Está en la cama. ¿O porque todavía está en la cama? Ay, no está Ay. listo. Ay. No está listo. ¿En dónde están? A la calo. Están en el carro. ¿Y hacia dónde van? A escuela. Ah, mamá, papá y Eduardo están en el carro y van hacia la escuela. ¿Quiénes están contentos y entretenidos? Los amigos. Los amigos de la escuela. Pero Eduardo no quería contentarse ni Ay. entretenerse. No quería hacer la escuela. No, no quería ir a la escuela. Eduardo quería regresar a casa. ¿Por qué crees que él no quiere ir a la escuela? 
que él ama a mamá y a papá. Él ama a mamá y a papá. Mm. ¿Qué crees que va a pasar? Va a llorar. ¿Va a llorar? ¿Crees que Eduardo va a llorar? Vamos a ver qué pasa. El jueves se equivocó de cuarto de baño. ¡Oh, no! Dijeron las niñas. Está ¡Ay! Como tu predicción, ahora sí estoy llorando. ¿Te recuerdas de la historia que pasó al principio? Al principio, ¿qué pasó primero? Hmm, vamos a ver. Al principio... No está listo. No está listo para ir. ¿Y qué pasó en el medio? ¿En el medio qué pasó? ¿A dónde fueron? A la escuela. ¿En el medio fueron a la escuela? Pero no quiero hacer escuela. ¿Pero no quiere hacer escuela? ¿Y qué pasó al final? Va a comer la sopa. ¿Va a jugar con Conejito a hacer la sopa? Sí. ¿Y tú estás lista para el colegio? ¿Estás lista para kinder? Sí. ¿Cómo se llama el personaje principal? Eduardo. Eduardo. Gracias por recordar el nombre del personaje principal. Y... Al principio del cuento, Evani, ¿qué pasó? ¿Recuerdas? Sí. ¿Qué pasó? No estaba listo. ¿Eduardo no estaba listo? No. No estaba listo para... Escuela. Para ir a la escuela. Eduardo no estaba listo para ir a la escuela. ¿Y al final qué pasó? No estaba listo. Al final, Eduardo no estaba listo para... Escuela. Para ir a la escuela. Si le dan más tiempo, si su mami y su papi le dan más tiempo, ¿qué crees que va a pasar? Está muy feliz. ¿Puedes hacer un dibujo de lo que tú crees que va a pasar? Si mamá, papá le dan más tiempo a Eduardo, él va a estar más feliz. ¿Puedes hacerme un dibujo? Sí. Ok. Recuerda usar detalles. Del cuento. Tú dijiste, creo que va a estar feliz en su casa. ¿Qué piensas sobre el primer día del colegio? ¿Cómo te vas a sentir tú en tu primer día del colegio? Bien. ¿Tú, ¿Tú vas a estar lista? No. ¿Tú no vas a estar lista? Ay, ya, ya. ¿Por qué no? Porque yo vas a estar... ¿Vas a tener sueño? Ah, pues nos tenemos que asegurar que duermas temprano la noche anterior. Yo pienso que sí. Vas a estar muy lista para tu primer día de colegio. This next video clip features an educator engaging her transitional kindergarten class of diverse learners in two different content area lessons, both focused on teaching a small set of sequential vocabulary words. In the first lesson, the teacher guides students to retell a brief text in sequential order, and in the second lesson, the students follow sequential instructions while making an art project. The lessons include two of the recommendations from the EL Practice Guide, teaching a set of academic vocabulary words intensively across several days using a variety of instructional activities, and Integrating oral and written English language instruction into content area teaching. So these words are the words that we use when we do things in order. And it's called they're called sequential words. Does anybody remember what this word is? Yes. Yes. Good. This word is first, meaning it's the very first thing we're gonna do. What about this word? After first, oh. then what do we do? Next. 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 This word is next. After next, we have the word then, and then last. Excellent job. So we are going to talk about a little story today, and we are going to put some phrases in order to make sentences of first, next, then, and last. Okay, so first of all, I want you to look at this picture. Her name is Mona. Mona 
is going to the beach. And if you notice, there's a number one, a number two, and a number three. This shows what she did at the beach, okay? So in the first picture, Mona is playing in the sand. In the second picture, Mona is building a sand castle. And in the third picture, Mona's eating a popsicle or an ice cream. When she was at the beach, what did Mona do? Don't say it out loud though, keep it in your head. What did she do first? Play in the sand. First, she played in the sand. We're gonna read these in a minute. And we're gonna read the whole story. Mona went to the beach. First, she played in the sand. Next, she built a sand castle. Last, she ate a popsicle. She had fun. Well, today, you are going to make your very own Mr. Seahorse. So we're going to use these same sequential words to make our Mr. Seahorse. Okay? So, let's read our sequential words because you guys are becoming good readers already. You're going to see what we're going to do first, next, then, and last to make our seahorse. First, you're going to glue Mr. Seahorse's head to his paper plate body, okay? You're going to do that first, okay? So first, we're going to glue on his head. Next, we're going to glue on his or spikes. Then we're going to paint with glue. Last, we're going to stick on all the little colored tissue papers to make his colorful body. What are we going to do first? Stick on the head. Okay. Samuel, what are we doing first? I stick to the hair. First, I glue my head. Um, next, I glue the pins. Next, then I paint the glue. Next, then I stick it in. Now, mine's awesome. Following the classroom art lesson on creating a seahorse, the teacher sent home a second FCA, making a meal together. Her purpose was to extend the student's use of academic vocabulary and integrate oral and written language instruction in a different setting as they engage in an everyday activity speaking in English or their home language. In this clip, a mother and son first discuss the importance of eating healthy foods. Then they make a smoothie together by following the sequential steps of a recipe. The mother has written out the recipe and is helping her son to connect oral and written language as she asks him to point to the words on the recipe while she reads. Oye, Samuel, ¿te gustan las frutas? Sí, porque tienen vitaminas. ¿Y te ponen? Muy, muy, muy saludable. Saludable y muy fuerte. Fuerte. Muy fuerte. Ok. ¿Y qué has planeado que vamos a hacer ahora? Um, vamos a usar estos ingredientes para hacer un licuado. Wow. ¿Y qué ingredientes tenemos? Tenemos una lista. ¿Les puedes enseñar dónde está la lista de ingredientes? Um, sí. Señala a uh -huh. los hijos. Um, Bananas. Banana. Blueberries. Uh -huh. Y... Avena. Avena. Y agua. No. Leche. Leche. Ah, una taza de agua. Una taza. Y jarabe de leche. No, una cucharadita de miel. Sí. Vamos a ver. Ok. Primero, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Mm. Vamos a... A cortar la fruta. Y luego hay que pelarla. ¿Primero? Primero hay que pelar. Listo. A continuación, a continuación, vamos a colocar todos, colocar todos los 
Ingre. Ingredientes. Ahora. Echando la brubre. Que enseguida. Enseguida. Vamos a colocar. Sí, colócala así. Muy bien. Ahora nos falta la. La leche. Por último colocamos. El agua. El agua. Y. Por último. La. Miel. La miel. ¿Quieres probar la miel? Sí. Finalmente vamos a. A licuar. A licuar. Pero ¿quién, quién puede tocar la licuadora? Mami. Salud. Mm. ¿Está rico? Vamos a probarlo. Está rico. Mm. ¿Por qué es bueno cocinar, hijo? Porque la comida que hacemos. These family videos show different ways to have fun and prepare for and extend classroom lessons by using the FCAs. Consistent with the recommendations in the practice guide, these families strengthened oral language through discussion of content using language supports from classroom instruction and the FCAs, supported acquisition of academic vocabulary in the home language, and deepened understanding of concepts of print by connecting oral language to printed words. The FCAs are designed to be used independently by families and require few materials, though teachers might choose to send home additional materials or instructions to increase accessibility for families and for particular learners. For the Asking and Answering Questions About a Story FCA, this teacher made simple books in Spanish and English available for families to borrow at back to school night to ensure they had the materials they needed for the FCA. This FCA can be used with any level of text. The Asking and Answering Questions About a Story and Making a Meal Together FCAs could be used with elementary age children of any English language proficiency level. Both of the activities, especially if used with older students, could be followed with an age-appropriate writing task. The FCAs give families ideas, language supports, and freedom to engage with their children in ways that support oral and written language development and make learning fun. For more information about the FCAs and how to use them, download the Educator's Guide. It has general tips for making the most of the FCAs and an overview of how the activities help scaffold language and literacy development across the content areas. Families and caregivers can use the FCAs separate from anything you might do in the classroom. Making connections between classroom instruction and these activities helps families and caregivers feel more engaged in their children's education and gives children a boost as well. To access the FCAs, the Educator's Guide, and all the supporting materials, including an overview webinar archive and the other two videos in this series, visit our FCA homepage. Thanks for watching. Salud!